Hello everyone, welcome again to our educational channel, AVA Academy. Here you can find videos on different subjects, including mathematics, science, physics, French, Arabic, and of course English. Today's lesson is dedicated to the ninth form, which is entitled Means of Entertainment. So let's start. In this lesson, you should be able to first identify different means of entertainment, second, interpret pictures, third, expressing uncertainty and expressing certainty. Here is a list of the vocabulary you should be able to learn disk based ebooks to take over a walk in cinema to interpret and giant so let's see the definition of the word entertainment entertainment is a noun it is the act or art of entertaining or state of being entertained. It consists of performance of plays and films, activities such as reading and watching television, etc. Now, here is some synonyms of the word entertainment. We can also say amusement, pleasure, enjoyment, or fun. Now, let's see some words derived from the word entertainment. Something is entertaining. Also, we can say to entertain and to be entertained by something. Let's see some example. So, examples. First one. Attack on Titan is a hugely entertaining watch. So, of course, here, Attack on Titan is the title of a series. Attack on Titan. You can say, for example, Spider-Man is a huge, is a hugely entertaining watch, or you can say Titanic is a hugely entertaining watch, whatever you like. Second example, you look bored. I can play some music to entertain you. Another example, the kids were entertained by the clown. So, in this last example, it is the passive form. The kids were entertained by the clown. Now, let's see some means of entertainment. Things, activities that you can do on your pastime or during the weekends and make you amused or entertained like of course here we divided the means of entertainment into indoor activities which means things or activities you can do at home and outdoor activities which means things or activities you can do outside your house so Let's begin with indoor activities, like you can read books, so reading books, watching TV, listening to your favorite CDs, and cooking. So, any entertaining activity that you can do at home is called indoor activities. 
Now, for outdoor activities, we have attending a show or a performance, also shopping and fishing. Now, let's do some activities. Activity one is a speaking activity. Let's look at these pictures and say what do you prefer. Do you prefer camping or hiking or watching TV? Now, look again and say which one do you prefer. Now, if you are an indoor person, you like enjoying the stay tone, you can just say, I am an indoor person, I enjoy watching TV at home. Or, if you are an outdoor person, you like going out, pretty much, you can say, as an outdoor person, I like to go camping or hiking. Both are correct. Of course, you choose which one you prefer. Next, let's look again at these pictures. Playing video games. Next, window shopping. Listening, sorry. Listening to music. And going to the cinema. Now, what will you do next weekend? So, this is activity number two. You aren't sure what to do next weekend. Use maybe, perhaps, and no doubt to make three sentences about the pictures in activity number one. So, let's see again. Playing video games. Window shopping. Listening to music or going to the cinema. Which one will you do this weekend or next weekend? Using, of course, maybe for uncertainty or no doubt for certainty. Here we have three examples. Starting with perhaps. Perhaps I will go to the cinema next weekend. Sentence number two. Maybe my friend Linda and I will go window shopping this weekend. Sentence number three. No doubt I'm going to stay at home this weekend and enjoy some music. So here we have three sentences we use perhaps, maybe, for uncertainty, and no doubt for certainty. Let's move on. Now, express uncertainty and uncertainty. What do we use to express certainty? We use I'm sure plus that clause. Or, no doubt, plus declarative sentence. For uncertainty, we use maybe or perhaps. Let's see some examples. Maybe I can go hiking next Friday. I'm sure that staying at home and watching TV all day isn't fun. 
Perhaps we can go camping on the weekend. Sorry, perhaps we can't go camping on the weekend, but we will certainly do it by the end of this month. Again, to express certainty, we used. I'm sure or no doubt and for uncertainty we used perhaps and maybe now let's do activity 3 page number 130 check your activity book take some time to do it you can of course pause this video do the exercise then come back later to listen to the answers now let's correct it fill in the blanks with words from the list galleries window shopping pastimes and traveling Recent research has shown that visiting galleries and traveling, here the correct words are in red. Okay, so check your answers. First word is galleries. So, galleries and traveling range among the favorite pastimes. So, word number three is pastimes. Let's reread again. Recent research has shown that visiting galleries and traveling range among the favorite pastimes for people in big cities such as London, Paris, and New York. However, there are many people who still engage in activities like window shopping and sport games. Check your answers again. First word is galleries. Second word, traveling. Third word, pastimes. And last word, window shopping. So this is the end of our lesson guys. If you liked this video, don't forget to like and share it with your friends. And please subscribe to this channel for more videos. Of course, you can visit us at our platform at www.lvaacademy.com. See you next time.